Hello again. My name is Ethan Ostroff. I am a personal injury lawyer in the Philadelphia area. Today, we're going to be talking about a really important area of the law. It is if you get hit as a pedestrian, where do you recover from insurance? Uh, how do you handle setting up your case? What are the first steps? These are things that come up all the time for us. And I want to make sure that your future personal injury case is protected, in particular, when it comes to being a pedestrian and a uh, in a car crash case. So before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow along where I will make sure that your future personal injury case is protected. My name is Ethan Ostroff. I'm a personal injury lawyer and I, for a living, find it so frustrating when I get asked the same questions over and over. So every time I get asked a new question, I record a new piece of content. So what do you do if you get struck as a pedestrian? It's a tough situation to go through because you are at such a disadvantage getting hit by a, you know, multiple thousand pound piece of metal coming at a really fast speed. So what are the first things you do? Obviously, the first thing you should do, if you have the ability, call 911 immediately. This is just like my bike video I just recorded. The most important thing is to get help there immediately. If there are any witnesses, yell at them, say, call 911 immediately. If you are out of it, then just be out of it. You got to focus on yourself and make sure that that is your top priority. Don't even think about insurance. Don't even think about the case. Don't even think about whether you were at fault or not. I'm going to get to that later because the truth is when you are driving a car, you are responsible for that car. And if you strike a person, whether they're in the pedestrian crossway or not, that person is at such a severe disadvantage that the law does tend to protect them. Now, yes, of course, there are situations where if you are hit as a pedestrian, you might be at fault. But if you get hit, the first thing that should go through your head is if you have the ability to call 911. Even if you think you're not hurt, if you got hit, there's a good chance that your adrenaline is rushing so fast that you don't realize how hurt you are. Call 911, let them get out there, let them evaluate the scene, let them determine who's at fault or not, and don't even think about that. Get yourself taken care of. Now, in terms of how the case is handled, yes, there's a possibility that if you do what's called a dart out, let's say that you jaywalk and you sprint out into the middle of the street. Let's say that that's caught on camera. There's a possibility you might be at least partially at fault in that kind of situation. But if you are walking through a pedestrian crossway and you get struck, you are not at fault. There's a reason why we say we yield to pedestrians. It's because you are at such a disadvantage if you do get hit. You could be killed. I've seen it happen. So in terms of how insurance handles this situation, first, you would recover from the other driver's insurance company. Let's say that they have a $15,000 liability policy. Second, you actually would recover from your own auto insurance as well in most states. So if you don't have enough insurance available to you from the other driver, you would second start to recover from the your own insurance company for something called uninsured slash underinsured motorist benefits. So uh, first, you would recover from the liability policy of the driver that struck you. Then second, you would recover from your own auto insurance policy. And I just want to make clear, if you are not at fault for a crash, you cannot, by law, have your auto insurance rates raised. Now, these are the kind of things that an injury lawyer would set up for you and make sure that you don't waive your right at any of these levels of insurance. So I would strongly recommend that after 911, one of the next calls, of course, let your family know if you're okay. Of course, make sure that you're doing okay reach out to an injury lawyer, get your questions answered about your situation because they will make sure that you don't get abused by these insurance companies. Because guess what? As soon as the insurance companies find out that you just got hit, they're going to be calling you nonstop. They're going to be offering you money. They're going to be trying to get you to settle at a discount immediately. It might even be a day after you got hurt. They might call you from the hospital. I have seen adjusters show up at the hospital, days after, people get hurt in a car crash, either a pedestrian or just a general car crash. So in terms of making sure you're getting taken care of and making sure that you are protected, talk to a lawyer. They will make sure that you don't get taken advantage of by an insurance company. So 
In terms of the immediate, call 911. In terms of the long term, you want to set up your own insurance claim, you're welcome to do that. But I would strongly recommend you don't talk to insurance companies about your injuries. The reason why is they will take a recorded statement. And let's say you say something the day after, and then three weeks later, you realize something else was related to that same incident. If you told an insurance company that you only hurt your back, but in fact, you hurt your back, your neck, and you sprained an MCL, and you tore your other MCL, guess what? They're going to say that those injuries are not related because they have one interest in mind. It is to protect their pocket. So do not talk to the insurance companies about your injuries if you can. It will not do any benefit for you either your own insurance company or the other driver's insurance company. So in terms of how to best set up your case, talk to a lawyer, get your questions answered, and make sure that you are not going about this alone. If you ever have any questions, I really hope that no one ever goes through this situation. We have dealt with horrible situations where people are getting absolutely life-threatening injuries from these kinds of incidents. If you ever are going through something like this, Click below for a free case evaluation. I'm happy to hop on the phone with you, either myself, another member of my team, but hit that subscribe button and follow along where we're going to make sure that your future personal injury case is protected.